Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to my Minecraft world. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the last couple episodes, man. I'm having a blast with this week. Um, I think this is going to be a new annual thing, man. My Minecraft world week. I like it. So, sorry I didn't have an episode out for you yesterday, but there should be, if I can get around to it, two episodes on Friday. That way... Or actually, we may do one episode on Friday, one episode on Saturday, and then we'll have episode 200 for our world tour on Sunday. So we'll just kind of have to play it by ear. I'll see what I can do with my work schedule and all that kind of jazz. But check it out, dudes. I've been doing a little bit of work around here, trying to clean this whole thing up a little bit. Let's go back over here real quick, and we'll sleep, and uh, we'll take a look and see what's going on. So this thing is actually working really well. I am having a little bit of a problem, though. I noticed that... I actually had to knock him down and kill him, but we had an iron golem spawn right up there on top of that log So I guess the prismarine lamp and stuff like that counts as a transparent block or something and it's still spawnable for some reason I'm not a hundred percent sure But we got to keep an eye out for that because I don't want iron golem spawning up there and I'll talk about this here in just a minute I just want to get back here and sleep real quick. So um, Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work here And I afk the last couple of nights here at the farm and we're gonna check out what we got I had a bunch of stuff in my inventory, but nothing really good. Just a bunch of fish um, A bunch of this junk in here and then a whole bunch <laughs> of bows and where are the saddles there's the saddles man we have so many saddles it's crazy um but yeah so i did adjust the bridge you know last time we just had the little dirt bridge and stuff like that and i just pretty much mimicked this bridge over here it's not 100 percent complete yet i do want to add some more detail work to it it's still kind of bland but i think what's really killing it is this wall here there's like nothing over here and I don't like it so I think we're definitely gonna have to be doing some stuff around here on the side of the mountain or something like that I don't know what yet but I'll leave it up to you guys if you got some ideas of things that we can do over here on the mountainous range let me know because I could really use your help on that one but uh yeah so I tried to tie everything in together you just using the spruce and the oak and stuff like that that's what we used on that bridge over there and then I also used a bunch of the logs and stuff here to kind of connect this whole thing like together because if not this thing is just kind of floating here and it looks kind of funky and I don't know I didn't like it too much but I think it's a little bit better now I might replace some of these blocks I think the prismarine is a little much or maybe the prismarine's fine but I maybe get rid of some of the stone bricks I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but yeah so um, you guys saw the AFK fishing farm that we had last episode and I didn't like the way it looked man it was just kind of funky and weirdly placed and yeah, so I decided to put it inside this little hut. So if you come over here, this is the actual fish farm. So you stand right here in the AFK, just look up and do your fishing rod like always. And this is the new rod that we have. I actually got a pretty good one. So this one is Mending Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, and Luck of the Sea 3. So this is like a really, really good fishing rod. And since it has mending on it, we can just sit here, we can AFK all day, no big deal. So. It works really really well um, I did make the mistake last time I did this farm because I forgot to fill my inventory here so my inventory was just full of junk and it was pretty bad can we get that back thank you um, but yeah so I just decided to go ahead and throw it in an item frame here that way it's always over here and we don't have to like carry it anywhere <laughs> but yeah so um, got quite a few books we got a bunch of stuff downstairs so if you come down here this is like all the excess storage that we got it's just a bunch of like hopper chest chains all the way down in a spiral pattern um, we'll take a look at that here in just a second but I want to check these books first I don't remember if we got anything good so bayonet arthropods knockback power efficiency respiration aqua affinity power sharpness arthropods efficiency four that's not a bad one um, sharpness bayonet arthropods okay yeah so not a whole lot of good stuff in there but let's come down here and check this so is there anything in there no no here we go um, wow, so okay, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, let's just start taking all this junk out. So we got fish, water bottles, ooh, looting too, power, look as the sea. We're looking for mending here. Efficiency 4, aqua affinity. Did we check them all? I think we did. Let's just bring them all down here to actually, you know what? Let's just pull them in my inventory. That way we know for sure. And we did check them all, right? Aqua affinity, look at the sea, power three. 
Okay, so if this one's full, then that means that these are full here. These two hoppers and these two chests. So let's take a look in here first. Oh, power four, infinity, unbreaking three. That's not a bad one at all. Smite and fire protection. Okay. So what do we got in here? Power. Power four, efficiency four. Blast protection four. Smite protection, efficiency four. Not bad. <sighs> no mending though. Where's the mending? Sharpness four, efficiency four. Okay. So let's take a look in this hopper. Fire protection three, sharpness three, flame. Okay. Oh, there's some more. There's a lot of books in here. Um, sharpness, efficiency four. Oh, we got it. Efficiency four and mending. Oh, that is so good. All right. So, do we get any more? Depth strike to three. That's not a bad one, actually, at all. Power four, fire protection, fire protection, bane arthropods, efficiency, and what else? Let's toss that fish in there. Silk. Ooh, a silk touch book. Wow, okay, cool. And we've got a bunch of this stuff. So all this stuff I'm probably gonna start trashing. I'll probably fill up a double full chest full of saddles, not that we'll ever need that many saddles. And we'll hang on to all the fish and all the other random junk, but like all these bows and all this stuff, I don't need. We're basically gonna take the best enchantments off of some of the bows and some of the, actually we already got the best rod possible. But with the bow, we'll make a super bow, and then uh, after that, I think we'll probably just start trashing all the rest of them. So sweet. I am so pumped that we got mending. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, that is so good. I'm going to put that right there for right now, and I'm going to drop off the rest of these books here. So we don't need these just right now. We'll keep them in here for safekeeping. We're definitely going to have to make some better storage. I may end up doing like some chests and stuff down here as well. Just that way we have got a little bit of extra storage for all this stuff because it's going to start filling up really, really quick. Um, like all this stuff. I guess we could use this stuff here. And this chest is empty right here in the middle. So not bad, man. Um, all right. So let's go check this out. So I want to try to put mending on our elytra and see if we can get this all up and going. Let's head over. Oh, oh. Oh, I guess I should show you this too. Um, so I spaced everything out in here so we've actually got like room for everything. Once these start filling up a little bit more, I'm going to trash them. I'll probably store some of them so we have the dye and just the flowers to use for aesthetic stuff. But yeah, so not bad, man. We're almost at, well, I guess we're technically we're over six stacks of iron. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. You guys were saying that this farm is pretty slow. And it's just kind of the design of the farm that's slow. Not necessarily something I did before. And some of you guys were saying that we could add more stacks on top of this. And that's not actually the case. I mean, we can, but we have to build it like 80 blocks above this one. So, I mean, we could build, you know, another one or two like way up in the sky. But that's just not really worth it to me, honestly. Because I feel like some of you guys were saying, somebody was really helpful too. And I'm sorry I forget your name right now. I don't have the comments pulled up. But, uh... You were saying that you can be within, I think, like 144 blocks of this farm, and I'm not sure if that's right or not, because I, when we AFK'd over here the other day, it didn't seem like they were spawning, but I haven't really done any testing, so I guess like the real test would be to just build a little safe room over here and AFK like overnight and see if I get any iron. That way it's on long enough that we could actually tell, but I don't know. Right now, just from everything that I've tested, it doesn't seem like it, but I don't know. We'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see. But anyways, let's go over here real quick. We are going to go she. We should have enough levels to add mending to our elytra. It should be all good, but I don't know. Let's head over here. We'll just take a look real quick. So I think today we are actually going to do a viewer request. I actually got a pretty good idea from somebody, and we'll share that in just a second, but let's try to do this real quick. Um, and it actually has to do with what we're doing right now. Yep. <laughs> uh, can we do this? 17 levels. That's going to put mending on here. We should probably... Can we put protection on here? I wonder if we can do that. Whoop. Okay, that broke. Oh, good thing I got extra. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one of these guys down right there. And... I'm thinking now, we don't have mending on anything else. I would really like mending on all my tools too, but it's too bad you can't really copy enchantments. Um, let's head someplace where we can collect some XP. Okay, well, I thought maybe there was something wrong with the farm, but it seems as though everything is working. There's no pistons stuck or nothing like that. There are pistons behind these blocks here, 
And how this works is they spawn on the pressure plates and then that activates the piston and it pushes it down. Yeah, so I don't know what's up. Very strange. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering if this is bugged or something because they are not spawning. We had this guy spawn, but I'm pretty sure that's because I was like way up at the top. What's up with this glass? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember having just a little bit of purple glass here. Very strange. Alright, so can we kill you? We should get some uh, XP. Okay, so it wasn't enough to... Alright, dude, you're dead. Stop making noise. So it wasn't enough to actually do the mending. And we don't have a whole lot of like damage durability on this, so... I don't know. Well, just kind of have to play it by ear and see. But I guess this is bugged for some reason. I don't know why this is not working. Alright, so let's get on with today's project. So, not last episode, but the episode before that, we got a really nice comment from... And if I remember, I'll put it up on the screen right now so you can see it. But, from Lacey Piva. She says, or actually she suggests, that maybe we could do a blacksmith shop or something like that. And I think that's a really good idea. Now that we've got an iron farm, we're going to need some place to store all the iron and maybe all the extra tools and stuff that we're getting from the fish farm over here. And basically just a good place to store all of our extra old tools or something like that that don't have mending on them. Um, I think that would be a really awesome awesome idea now I'm trying to figure out where we want to do this at we've got a little bit of room to work with on this side and I would like to start filling some of this area out so maybe up okay um, <laughs> up on top of this hill I think this might be a pretty good spot we'd have to clear out some of these trees here but let's come over here and take a look at the top of this hill actually you know what? let's go over there on the top side of this uh, top of the bridge here real quick We'll see what it all looks like. I think that might be actually a pretty good spot. So up in this house right here, we do have a bunch of anvils and different things like that. But I kind of built that more to be like a circle table room, like a meeting town, not really town hall, but like a meeting meeting house. I don't know what you want to call it, but um, that's kind of the idea behind that one. So we don't really have a blacksmith shop, and I think it would be cool to have something on this side of town because I do want to eventually connect all of this we're gonna get rid of this tree farm here this is just a temporary thing but I think we'll probably do some sort of pathway kind of around the edge here and then connect it up into the sand we'll have a pathway coming from on this side all the way across to this bridge here and then I also think over here I'm going to connect another bridge from here to here so it should be pretty awesome when it's all set up and done but we haven't really gotten there and we want to keep this week going so yeah I think that's a pretty good spot it's kind of like up on the hill. We could do maybe like a cool, I don't know. It doesn't have to be very big. This is going to be kind of like a smaller build. Um, or, oh, I kind of want to, but I kind of don't. I was going to say we could build it into the side of the hill here. I want to be able to see it like up on top though. So we may do something connected to it underneath. Maybe like a bunch of storage and kind of like a, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe that could be like where the forge is. So we could actually have the blacksmith shop up on top, like where you would store everything, and then we could have a forge down below. Ooh, that's kind of a good idea. All right, so we've got a bunch of different stuff here that I want to try to work with, but first we got to get rid of these trees. So let me do that real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, well, we don't have a lot of room to work with here, but I think it'll be okay. And I'm just kind of thinking right here, this seems like a good spot for almost like a river or something or some sort of like flowing stream so we may end up doing something like that I think it would be pretty cool so we could have like a little pond or something here and then have maybe like a little geyser or something on the side of this right here like where the water is actually coming from or what it makes it look like it's coming from and then we could have it flow all the way down here and it'll probably just flow right back in here into the river and we got a strange hole here looks like I might have been here before staircase up or something I don't know uh, but yeah so let's go over here I dropped off everything that we had to work with let's go ahead and grab some materials and put the rest of this stuff in here since we don't need that just yet um, I want to try I want to use some oak man this is the first time I've used like just normal oak wood in a long time and I forgot how good it looks I like the look of just the normal oak wood um, I know a lot of people probably don't but I do I think it looks pretty neat um, so let's head up here 
and let's lay down the dimensions. You hear the dog snoring in the background? Him and Kitty both are like sitting right next to each other. <laughs> They're sleeping next to each other. It's funny. Um, how do we want to do this? So we are going to have, we're going to kind of continue the theme of these roofs and stuff like that on this place as well. But I don't think it really needs to be that big. This place is huge. So it just this just needs to be like a little tiny shop thing. So let's try, we'll go one, two, three, and then, goodness, man, he is sleeping hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, and then we'll kind of keep it long and narrow. So one, two, three, four, five, we'll keep it odd. All right, this tree might have to go too. Oh, I'm so not used to the slow leaf to spawn. <laughs> I like the fast leaf decay from a uh, modded Minecraft. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's go. Oh, what is going on here? My mouse is doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I always forget that we can put stuff in our offhand, so like we can switch if we need to. I always forget that we can do that, so I've never been using it. But I thought we might try to uh, start forcing ourselves to remember just a little bit, so we have that kind of build a habit would be kind of nice um, all right let's get rid of all these leaves real quick and it looks like I might have to sleep too it's almost nighttime so I figured we should extend this just a little bit more so I pushed it back what like two more blocks so it, we just have like a little bit more room to work with nothing crazy but it's gonna make a difference so now I want to put in some more kind of structural pillars here I don't know if I like having this over here I don't know if it's just my mouse or what but things are a little wonky I keep placing torches and I don't want to so I keep having to break them but let's just do that so we came out what two blocks there one two so here as well let's come up three we'll do the same thing on the other side and then I think we'll have kind of the basic foundation of this house which I think will look good so one two three and then one two three like so and then yeah this will actually be cool because then we can have like a little back door we may even do it would be kind of cool to do a water wheel here but oh, I don't know I don't know <laughs> uh, do like blacksmiths and stuff do they use a water wheel I feel like that's a little strange but maybe they do I don't know I might have to do some research and stuff but now I kind of want to work on the roof and just go ahead and knock that out real quick so this is going to be kind of the time-consuming part and I'll show you real quick just kind of the basic basic idea on how I do my roofs here but we're gonna come out one actually we can leave that guy there that'll be perfect and then we start using the stairs so first thing our first stair that we're going to use actually let's do let's do another block here Oh, my mouse man I really got to invest in a new mouse or something this one is driving me crazy um, but yeah so we're gonna put one upside down stair here and then from here we kind of just like pillar up and do a bunch of different stuff here so let's do oh, we don't really have any good pillar blocks let's just use some wood uh, let's get up here on top of this guy and then we're going to come up one and I probably should grab some more cobble and stuff but I'll just show you real quick so we'll come up one and then we'll come up with some stairs and then from here we'll come up two like that and then let's do some stone brick here and then we'll come up with stone brick stone brick and then we can throw in some cobble I just like to mix up the cobble and the stone brick just that way they kind of look nice um, but now so since we're in the center of the building here we're going to do a solid block and then from here we just repeat the same pattern down and what I kind of like to do is build kind of like the stone frame and then we'll come back in and fill it in with wood so you can see that on a lot of our houses here and we're gonna kind of try to keep the same theme here as well so I guess I'm gonna spend a little bit of time I'm gonna work on the roof a little bit we may want to go up a little bit more so maybe like right here we'll come up two, and then go up one more and then have this just be a little bit taller so there's the skeleton of it and I don't think it actually looks that bad. It's kind of big, but I don't know. I think I dig it. I we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see. Let's go ahead and get some wood stuffs going on. I think we want to use dark oak or spruce. We may end up using spruce. I think it looks a little bit better for roofs. 
Um, so let's head inside real quick. I did make it a little bit taller. I think I added another block here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what I showed you guys last or what I didn't. Um, but let's do this real quick. I want to add a beam or a brace right here. Like that. Yeah, that way it's got a little bit more structural integrity right there. And we can go ahead and bring this all the way through as well. And that might actually look nice around the outside as well. I was kind of wondering what we were going to do in this little gap here. But I think that might actually look cool. We could fill that top side of that in with like some stone slabs or something. So we'll give that a look-see here in just a second as well. But oh, can we, we can't get up there, can we? Let's do this. Heh. And heh. Oh, nope. We missed it. Put another log there. And that way we've got another brace going across the back here as well. So, like so. Boom. And then we'll come across on this side. Like this. Oh, no. Okay, we got more. <laughs> I was like, we're short. Um, sweet. Okay, so I think I like that. We may get rid of these guys here. Put some sort of... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go up. Let's bring this brace all the way into the top here. So we're two in. Actually, we need to do it here. Yeah, we can do that. So let's do this. Bring it all the way down. So we have those. And then on top of these guys, we can do some stairs like this. Okay, cool. So that works for the front entrance. Sweet. All right, let's get rid of these. And then... Actually, I want to take a look and see what this looks like from the outside, if we can see it. It's probably easier on this side. Yeah, so that doesn't look terrible. Let's try the stone slabs real quick and see what that looks like in there. Uh, and I wanted to share with you guys, too, apparently this thing does work while we're a little bit further away. So we don't necessarily have to be this close. I do like having the fish farm here. The way it's kind of like in a close proximity and stuff like that you know just our AFK stuff is all in one spot but check this out so I was over here just a little bit ago and we had six stacks and eight pieces and I just happened to look over here before and a dude was burning in there so it is working even though we're just that far away so that is good to know so we don't necessarily have to be AFK at the fish farm to get iron but doesn't mean we have to be you know super close to it as well so that's kind of interesting it's nice to know um, I like that. Oh, we were doing slabs. Let's do slabs real quick. Do I? I don't think I brought any normal stone, did I? No. Let's go grab some normal stone real quick. Better. All right. So it's actually got kind of like a chain link design to it. That was unintentional, but it looks cool. I dig it. <laughs> um, not bad. So we did the same thing to this side as well. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but we did do the same thing. Um, but now I guess. We need to finish up the back here. I'm wondering if we should do, we gotta do braces here where all this stuff is. All right, so we can continue that up here. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. We'll do one, no, that's dark oak. That's not what we want. Are we out of spruce? No, there, no, what? There's spruce, okay. So we'll do spruce back here, like this? Is that in the right spot? It looks like it, okay. Oh, okay, it is. And we'll get up top and do the same thing. So what do you guys think? I'm going to have to come back in and put some stairs here to kind of smooth everything out a little bit. But I kind of like the design we got going on. So I decided to incorporate some of the prismarine stuff. And I don't think it actually looks that bad. So if we come over here, we can kind of see. It's a little far away, but I think all in all, it's not too terrible, man. I would maybe like to try to put in some prismarine on the side of this as well. But... We'll mess with that at another time. So what I want to do now is let's go borrow some iron from our iron farm. We should have plenty. Um, I think I've seen another couple of guys in here. So yeah, it's definitely going. Not a, not a whole lot of spawns there, but a little bit. Let's do this. We want to make some iron bars so we can set up some windows and get that all set up and going. Like so. Let's do, let's do three batches of them. I have iron bars somewhere but I'm just too lazy to run back. And now that we have infinite iron, hey, we can make all the iron bars we want. <laughs> uh, but for this front one, we're gonna do iron bars like so. Oh, I should have grabbed that door while I was down there too, but I forgot. And then we're also gonna do iron doors here, or iron bars, not doors. 
Um, just kind of cross the bottom here just to make things look a little bit nicer. And we'll open these guys up. Oh, I forgot to put in stairs here. Can we? Yeah, we can do this. We'll come in here, throw some stairs down like so. And I think that's pretty much it, man. So let's go grab. Actually, I want to try something real quick. We do like path blocks here in the front. That's not bad. I don't really like the fact that we can see the texture underneath. So let's do this. Let's put in. Let's probably not use the mossy stuff. Can we put that in there? Oh, cool. That looks a little better. I don't know. I don't mind the. I, I don't. I don't know. The path block is kind of one of those blocks that's weird, but I don't mind it in certain spots. So that looks okay. So let's head over here. Let's glide down. Woo. I made it. Let's grab our door and we can go ahead and throw this on. And while we're here, let's go ahead and grab some cobble. Let's grab the magma block. Let's grab some furnaces. And I think that's it for now. So I want to try to use the magma block for kind of like the forgy spot. So if we can make it look right, I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay, so I like the door. It matches. It's good. Um, so what I want to do is I want to build... Oh, do we want to do stone brick or cobble? I don't know. Let's set up the fence real quick, though. Let's do that first. So the fence we want to have kind of just like that. It doesn't really have to make sense. We just want it to kind of connect around a little bit. So we'll do that. We'll come across here. Let's get rid of this guy. And then oh, the double place thing, man, it's killing me. I don't know what to do. And I guess we'll just run it around like so. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's get rid of these guys real quick. Oh, it's nighttime too. We need to go sleep so we don't have any creeper spawn. Oh, check it out. Oh, it's got damage on it now. I guess I've taken some damage from flying around. But we got it fully charged. There was a couple creepers over here that I killed. And the experience that I got, got it all the way fully charged. So <laughs> it does work. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to sleep real quick, and I'm going to try to rough out an idea or design for the forge thing, and we'll be right back. All right, so it's... <clears throat> okay, so it's nothing special, <laughs> but I think it's it'll look okay. Um, so what I'm thinking is we'll throw some of these blocks in here like this, and let's actually get rid of this guy real quick. I want to try to maybe put that one... I don't know. Do we want to do it... Uh, where'd my cobblestone stairs go? Did we lose them? I might have lost them. I had to go to the nether, so I dropped some stuff off. Let's just make these four like that. What does this look like? That's not that impressive, is it? <laughs> I thought maybe that might look cool. Let's try bringing it up one. So if we fill this back in like that, and then we take these magma blocks and do like this. And then instead of having the stairs at an angle like this, we can do like this. Yeah, I think that's cool. And then, you know what we could do? Do we have, we've got a little bit of iron. Is it four? No. Yeah, it is four. We could do some iron trap. No, it, no, no. I just wasted that iron. That's okay. Let's do... Oh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Let's try just some wooden trap doors. Get out of here, stairs. And we can put these guys right here. And we can close it if we need to. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense that it would be wooden. But we can pretend that they're like copper or something. <laughs> uh, they don't have to be, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's my torches. Here they are. I'm going to put some light out here as well. Maybe right there too. <laughs> I don't know. That's cool. All right, so I'm gonna go sleep the night off real quick, and I've actually got a couple more ideas. So I'm gonna clear out my inventory, and we're gonna try some other stuff. All right, so let's try this on for size. We got some coal blocks. We can just kind of maybe pile up here in the corner. <laughs> um, what does that look like? That doesn't look terrible. So he's gotta like stoke the fire with some stuff, you know. And then we got some hay bales. So let's try to put some hay, hay, hay over here. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, we'll just kind of like stack that up. He can kind of use that for like kindling, I guess you could say. I don't know exactly what you want to call the stuff. Yeah, I think that looks okay. 
It's kind of something, you know, to put in the corners there. I like it. And then on this side, we can actually set up, where did my cauldron go? There it is. We can throw this guy down right here. So it still leaves plenty of room to get into there, you know? All right, so we've got a cauldron to kind of cool the metal off. And then we can make an anvil, which I forgot to make. Let's go here. So I got all the iron blocks that we're going to need, and we can do these like that. And this, I had some extra anvils, but I don't know where I put them. I guess I dropped them down someplace. But yeah, so we can go ahead and put this guy, uh, put it right there. Does that look better? All right, so we can pull the water back out of this. Maybe we should move this guy. Um, what if we put this guy like right here? So we want the anvil to be kind of close to the actual forge because I think how that works is you heat up your metal, you bang it out, whatever you're making, a sword, you I forget that, I don't know the actual term for it, but then you cool it off in the water, right? So that'd be kind of the order that we want this in, and I feel like there's too many coal blocks here. Let's take some of these. We'll just take, we'll just leave those there. I, th I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. Maybe we can put some in the ground here as well. Let's do like that. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. All right, so I think that pretty much completes the backyard area. I know it's not really like too fancy. Maybe we can do some like path blocks. And I'm going to come back in and probably add some gravel and different things like that as well um, to make the path just a little bit more. I mean, like this is cool, the path block but there's not a whole lot of detail that you can do with it and I like to you know kind of mix up the patterns a little bit more so we'll mess with that some other time but real quick what we want to do for the last very last thing we do today I want to try out some banners man we barely use banners and there's some really cool stuff out there I looked up online there's actually a pretty awesome design that I think we're gonna try to make here that has an actual anvil on it which I think looks awesome uh, so we want to do that one like that, and then another one across there, like so. And then I think we're going to need some more light gray wool, or light gray dyes. So let's grab that, and we'll do across the bottom, I think it says. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> and then I'm trying to remember how this all works, but I think from here we want to do this one yeah we're gonna try to keep like the dark gray and the cyan colors which we have in the other banners that we have around here and then now I think it's the banner I think you use vines and then the color that you want so try that like that is that what we're looking for yeah check it out that's kinda of what we're going for so that looks pretty awesome huh it's like a, oh no um, so it's like the actual banner for a smithy or something like that. I think we can copy these if we make another banner like so. Let's make four more like this. All right, so that gives us four. And I think if we just put these in here like that, that'll copy everything. Yeah, so now we have five. Cool. So we want to do one. Oh, can we, oh, we can put them there. That is awesome. I didn't know you could do that. That's not actually what we want, though. So let's do... How do I get rid of this guy? There we go. I think we want to put one... We can put him here. Yeah, that looks cool. And then we'll have one hanging here, kind of on the front of the building. So you got to have advertising, you know? <laughs> and then... Where did I want to put the other ones? I felt like I wanted to do one somewhere, but I can't remember where exactly. Let's go take a nap real quick. And so I think for these last two banners, we'll probably just set them up down here. Not like that, but <laughs> kind of get the idea. Um, so if we do them like so, actually, you know, this needs to be a full block, doesn't it? Okay, so let's take that back and let's grab, uh, I guess, just a piece of spruce wood. We'll grab our other banner but yeah so this is basically like if you're down low then you can know that there hey there's a blacksmith somewhere around here <laughs> I, I don't know um, let's see we'll put these guys here like this oh you know what that should probably be a prismarine lamp that looks kind of derpy doesn't it it just looks like a dog with really long ears we uh, do we not have any yeah, I guess we'll just use wood. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Doesn't it look like a dog? Uh, okay, that's not what we want. This looks kind of derpy. Let's get rid of this. I thought maybe that would work better, but I don't know. Maybe we can just hang on to these two and set it. Like once I build the path and stuff here, we can figure out some place to put them because I think we're just gonna have like staircase a staircase going up to there, and then on the back side. Yeah, I don't know. I want to do the uh, the river thing right here. I think that'll be pretty awesome. Uh, let's try that real quick, and then we'll end the episode here. So let's do some water. Oh, this is like such a perfect spot for a little river thing. Um, I should probably make an infinite spring up here. So I think if we just continue to do this all the way down, it should start to connect up. Looks like it is. Uh, let's put one there. What's going on? Uh, if we put that here. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to connect now. And then let's do one there. And yeah, it's kind of working. The sand's kind of got to go though. So if we do the sand like that, and then we don't really want this to connect here. So let's do some grass along that side, and then just some dirt. Do one, two, three. And then if we agitate this, yeah, it should fill in. Okay, cool. So let's take a step back and see what that looks like. Oops, sand. Oh no, sand. Stop. Stop moving. No, no. Okay, let's get rid of this. Put that there. Perfect. All right, so what does that look like? I may do some adjustments on this off camera, but I think that actually doesn't look too bad, does it? cool all right well there is our blacksmith shop so thank you very much Lacey, for your comment i really appreciate that before we start next episode i'll make sure we go put your uh, book over there in the subscriber hall so that way you get memorialized forever in this world but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed if you got ideas about what we can build in this village make sure you leave them in the comment down below let me know what you're thinking and I will see you guys next time, all right? So hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time for some more of the Minecraft world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.